So neither my view of Sharia should be enforced nor your view of Sharia should be enforced. But in, in society, with the state, we need secular law to govern, and we can debate and contest that by the notion of civic reason, as I discuss in the book. But all of that is for the secular state to do, and we need to do it. In my relationship to my God, I need to comply with my understanding of Sharia for which I am accountable to God. Mm. Uh, um, let's talk strategy for a quick second. Uh, you've already alluded to the fact that you know, you're taking a bit of a risk by using the word secular or secularism uh, in your book. Uh, the book has been already translated, even before the English version, into various languages that are spoken in the Muslim world. Uh, and the thing that really jumps out at me, Professor Annaim, is that you constantly, um, in the book and in your previous work, use the phrase Islamic reform. In fact, your first book in English has the title uh, Towards an Islamic Reformation. Now, I have to tell you, even I couldn't get away with that. Mm. Okay, Because, first and foremost, as you know, I have been uh, not just criticized, but absolutely lambasted by Muslims for entitling my book, The Trouble with Islam Today. No, 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 there is no trouble with Islam, it's the trouble with Muslims. So to say Islamic reformation, first of all, suggests that it's Islam that needs a reformation rather than Muslims, and then to use the word reformation with its Christian connotations? Here's my question. How have you gotten away with this? <laughs> really, and, and more importantly maybe, and, and, and speak to me as your student mm. now, not as an interviewer, what can I learn from what you've done right? Well, I don't want to get away with it. <laughs> because to get away with it means that nobody's paying attention. <laughs> uh, I, I, so in fact, I, I seek to challenge, and I expect to be resisted, but not overwhelmingly. That is, I, 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 because at the point is that if I'm not resisted, I'm not relevant. Uh, but I also must speak in a way that tries to help people hear what I'm trying to say. You see, even with the best of intentions, with the best of audiences, and I'm sure we have it tonight, people hear what they think I'm saying, not what I'm, I think I'm saying, probably. So, uh, with all due respect, as my student, I would say, it is my obligation to be as least offensive as I can, but not to compromise the message I'm trying to convey. So I, I need to be soft, I need to be gentle, I need to be uh, empathetic with the audience and uh, understand their apprehensions. And all of that I need to do. And, and for